Hey guys, so uh, Kerry Trish here, and uh, uh, Ryan, my cameraman, is going to be reading off uh, basically what we'll be demonstrating. This video will be demonstrating full takeover. He will read off all of the points, and we will demonstrate them one at a time. What's the first thing we need to cover, Ryan? Uh, remote start the car with a third party remote. Okay, so we are in a house. You can see my dogs probably. And uh, this is a third party remote, it's CompuStar remote. This button here is to remote start it if I hold it in, or if I just press and let go, it gives you a status. So there's your status. The car is armed, it's 62 degrees, it is not on. If it were, that little engine thing would be animated. So now I'm going to remote start the car. Actually, I'll show you one other thing. If I press it again, it shows the battery voltage too. So the battery voltage is 12.3 volts, okay? Fully charged car battery. So now we're going to remote start the car. We're going to press and hold the remote start button. And it says remote start. Now this is a two-way system, which is kind of the whole point of having a third-party remote. So once the car starts, it should send signal back and tell us the car has successfully remote started. And it says start. And you'll see the uh, animated icon there. So, And we have 44 minutes of runtime, And you see that it is counting down. Now if I get uh, status again, it hasn't gotten any hotter or colder yet, but it will obviously if the heater air is on. And you see that the battery voltage has gone up to almost 14 volts. So that is exactly what we'd expect. So let's go demonstrate full takeover. Don't forget your notes. Keep filming. Keep filming. Okay. So we're coming out to the car, and you'll see that it currently is not plugged in. And it doesn't seem like it's on, but remember it is a Prius. Um, but we'll demonstrate that it is indeed on. I showed you on the remote that it's on. But if you, uh, if you peek in there, you'll see, and maybe even here, the car stereo is running. It's kind of hard to see. If you bring your camera over here, maybe... Right up there, you can hear the air conditioning or heating is running. So the car is indeed on. It is ready to drive. And I'm going to prove that. But um, what's the next, or yeah, what is the next point on our thing? Is that uh, not carrying the factory key? Okay, we demonstrated we uh, do not have a factory key fob on my unit. So, and obviously, it's still remote started. So, good to go there. Then that you can open a door without it shutting down. Okay, so probably before I open a door, I probably should show you that it is secured and locked. So it is protected from a break-in. And if somebody did break into the car right now, it would uh, set the alarm off. But let's, let's do what we're supposed to do. We're going to unlock it. The door is now unlocked. And I open the door. Music still playing. The car is still ready. Make sure you get it ready. And you get it shot. And I probably should stop that music because YouTube might find that copyrighted. All right. Anyway, so we are uh, we have uh, successfully gotten into the open the car door. What's the next point? To get in and close the door without it shutting back down. All right. So we're gonna get in. And we close the door. I haven't pressed any buttons on the alarm. We're still at 40. We're still ready. And the air conditioning is still going. Okay, so what's next? To apply a brake, put in gear without it shutting down. Okay, so I'm going to um, show that if I uh, put it here, if I try to put it into gear without touching the brake, I get the uh, warning. The steering wheel is unlocked, but, and you hear the beeping, that's the 10 second warning that's going to arm. So I'm going to press the brake. I have pressed the brake. It is still ready. The, uh, the system never stopped. CD is still playing. 
show you that's actually a CD. Okay. Uh, okay, yes, so we are playing our music and we're still ready and my foot's on the brake. And I believe the next one is to put it in gear. Yep, drive car is normal. Okay, drive car is normal. So I need to back up. So I'm going to put it in gear and it let me do that. And we're gonna back up. To stop and park the car as normal. Okay, so to stop the car, we park it as normal and we uh, press the power button and the car turns off as normal. And then, of course, everything is now shutting down as it should. And the next step is what? To get out of the car, I assume? Yeah, or get, yeah, get status of car via key fob. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Uh, did it tell me to get out? Did I, dem I probably should demonstrate that. Obviously, if you're going to drive your car, you're going to get out. All right, so you get out, and you close the door, and the CompuStar system is programmed for uh, passive arming, which means in 30 seconds, for each 10 seconds that pass after the last door is closed, it's going to beep. Um, I think you heard a couple of those already. Or if you don't want to wait, you can just basically lock it yourself. Okay, so we did that. Uh, and then we're supposed to demonstrate something on the key fob, which is hard to do outside. So let's see if we can... Uh, let's go in the garage. It's a little dark. Yeah, very nice. Okay, so we are going to hit that status button now. And shows the car is indeed off. It's still 62 degrees. It is locked and secured. I hit it again. And the voltage has dropped down to 12.3 volts. So we have just successfully remote started a car without carrying the third party key fob. We got in with a full takeover and we're able to drive away without ever shutting down. And we finished our trip and we shut it down manually. And we did not get an error three, which we're going to talk about more in the next video. Does that complete the full takeover video? Okay, you may stop recording.